Okay, so what is unit step sequence? The unit step sequence is defined by UKN and is defined by it is denoted by UKN and it is defined by 0 and 1. 0 in between when uh, k is in between 0 to n minus 1. And if k greater than equal to n, it takes value 1. So we will have next theorem. Shift theorem. This is important theorem, uh, which we will use uh, the results of this theorem we will use to solve initial value problems using the transforms. So this is important for n positive integer. Z transform of y k plus n is nothing but z raised to n small z. Note the change between small z and capital Z. Capital Z is to denote uh, Z transform and Z is uh, small z is uh, variable. So Z raised to n capital Z of yk minus summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 ym Z raised to n minus m. And another one, Z at Z transform of Y K minus N, U K at N is nothing but Z raised to minus N, Z transform of Y K. Z raised to minus N, Z transform of Y K. For any n positive integer, we, we are having z transform of yk plus n is nothing but z raised to n, z transform of yk minus summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1, ym, z raised to n minus m. And another property z of, in terms of uh, that step sequence, z transform of yk minus n into uk n is nothing but z raised to minus n, z of yk. Okay, so we want to prove this theorem. Proof. Uh, consider Z transform of YK plus N. By definition, what is Z transform of YK plus N? It is infinite series. K is equal to 0 to infinity YK plus N divided by Z raised to K. So, uh, YK plus N divided by, this is by our definition, okay? So this I can write as summation k is equal to 0 to infinity y k plus n z raised to minus k. Is that okay? Min minus k. Is that okay? Yes, Mr. students are you there? Yes, yes. Now I can write this as summation k is equal to n to infinity y k z raised to minus k plus n. I can write. I am shifting this. Instead of z, k is equal to 0, I am taking k is equal to m. What will be minus k? Minus k, uh, it will change to minus k plus n. Okay. And k plus n will change to k. Am I right? Yes. I am changing index of the sum. Now, this I can write as z raised to n summation k is equal to 0 to infinity yk z raised to minus k minus 
समेशन के एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू एन माइनस वन वाई एम जेड रेस टू माइनस एम कैन आई राइट लाइक दिस This is from k is equal to n to infinity. If I want sum from k is equal to n to infinity. What I did, I have taken infinite sum from zero to infinity, and I have subtracted up to n minus one terms. And the rest to n, I have taken outside. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now this. Z raised to n. This is nothing but what, what what I can write for this. What is this? This is by our definition k is equal to zero to infinity. Y k upon z raised to k. So it is z of y k. Capital z of y k minus this term as it is. So again I will take that inside. M is equal to zero to n minus one y m. Z raised to n minus m. This z, small z. Is that okay? So what is this? This is my z transform of y k plus n. Okay. So that only we want to prove first. Z at y k plus n is nothing but z raised to n z of y k minus summation k is equal to zero to n minus one y m. Z raised to n minus one. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. So, so first part we have proved. Now to prove second part. Second part. Consider. Z transform of uh, y n minus k, u k at n. But what is u k at n? Uh, okay, first we will write definition. What is by definition this is k summation k is equal to zero to infinity y k minus n u k at n divided by z raised to k. So divided by z raised to k, I can write as z raised to Minus k. Okay, this is by definition of Z transform. Now this I can write as summation k is equal to n to infinity y k minus n Z raised to minus k. Because what is u k n? What is u k n? It is a unit sequence, unit step sequence. U k n takes zero value when K is less than equal uh, when this where is that? Is less than equal to K is less than equal to n minus one. K is less than equal to n minus one. So and when k is greater than equal to n, it takes value one. So up to n minus one term, that function will take zero. Therefore, that all terms will vanish. Right? Or shall I split this? Summation k is equal to zero to n minus one y k minus n u k at n uh, z raised to minus k plus k is equal to zero to not zero to n to n to infinity uh, y k minus n u k at n z raised to minus k. So now, what is the value of this u k? What is the value of u k n where k is less than equal to n minus one? So it takes zero value, and yes. here it takes one value. So I'm only uh, first term is first term becomes zero, and remaining term only remaining sum survives. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. So what is but what is this? This I can write as summation k is equal to zero to infinity y k. I can write z raised to minus k minus n. I can write. 
Now k is equal to n to infinity. I am changing to zero to infinity. So k minus n will change to k, and minus k will change to minus k minus n. Is it right? Yes, ma'am. And uh, this is nothing but uh, now this is sum over k. So I can take z raised to minus n outside summation k is equal to zero to infinity y k. Z raised to minus k, and this is nothing but my y at z or z at y k. Y k raised to minus n capital Z y at z, and that only we want to prove. Is that okay? Is that okay? just we have to use the definition yes, of z transform and we have to change the indices and we can obtain the result this is known as shift theorem we'll take example find Z transform of u cat m u cat n now i i want to find z transform of unit step sequence so what is by definition this if i use definition i can't do so i will use this one no what is this if if i substitute yn minus k is equal to 1 so i will get z transform of ukn right yes ma'am so what is what 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 will be by this z raised to minus n z at what is yk minus n is 1 Y k is also one. It is just constant sequence. So Z trans. This is Z transform of one. What is Z transform of one? What is Z transform of one? Z one. Z minus one. Z minus one. Z minus one. So this I can write as uh, Z raised to one minus n upon Z minus one. so z transform of unit sequence is z raised to 1 minus n divided by z minus 1 is that okay yes ma'am yes ma'am fine uh, find z transform of yk if yk is equal to 2 Zero is less than equal to k less than equal to ninety nine and is equal to five if hundred is less than or equal to k. Means k is greater than equal to hundred. Now I so sequences like up to when k is up to zero to ninety nine. Like y zero is two, y one is two, up to y ninety nine is two, and remaining uh, uh, y at hundred is five, y at one zero one is five, and so on. Remaining terms are five. So two 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 up to nine 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 ninety nine terms, and then five 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 infinite terms. Okay, so that is my sequence. Now I want to find uh, z transform of this infinite sequence. so i will try to write in terms of unit sequence so so we write given sequence given sequence in terms of in terms of a uh, unit step sequence
as follows. How I can write this in terms of unit step sequence? Z of yk. I can, or first I will write only yk sequence. yk I can write as, how I can write yk in terms of unit step sequence? 2 plus 3 times uk at 100. Is that right? So when k is less than or equal to 100, uh, strictly less than 100, it takes 0, right? uk at 100. What is uk at 100? It takes two values, 0 and 1. When 0 is less than or equal to k, less than or equal to 99. And when k is greater than or equal to 100, it takes 1. So when k is less than or equal to 99, this will become 0. Only 2 will remain, right? And when k is greater than or equal to 100, then its value will be 1. uk at 100 will be 1. So 2 plus 3 will be 5. Is that okay? So now I will find the transform of this. Now I want to find the transform of this yk. Z transform of 2 plus 3, you get 100. So what is Z transform of 2 plus 3, you get 100? We know that Z transform is linear. So Z at 2 plus 3 times Z at, you get Z transform of you get 100. So what is uh, Z transform of 2? Two? 2 two outside, Z transform of 1. What is Z transform of 1? Z upon Z minus 1 plus three times. What is Z of UK at 100? Uh, Z raised to N minus one minus 99 divided by Z minus one, right? Where we have written. Z raised to one minus N divided by Z minus one. Is that right? Z transform of UK yes, N. So, if I substitute n is equal to 100 here, z raised to minus 99 divided by z minus 1. So this is my solution. Or if I simplify this, I can write this as 2 z raised to 100 plus 3 divided by z raised to 99 z minus 1. This z raised to 99 we have taken out below. Is that okay? So this is my Z of YK. Is that okay? Take next theorem. Theorem 3.15. For any integer n, could equal to zero, z transform of k plus n minus one to the n polling, n polling is nothing but n factorial z raised to n divided by z minus one raised to n plus one. And Z of Z transform of K raised to N poly is nothing but N factorial Z divided by Z minus 1 to the N plus 1 for modulus of Z is strictly greater than 1. So for any integer n greater equal to 0, we want to prove z transform of k plus n minus 1 to the n falling is n factorial z raised to n upon z minus 1 raised to n plus 1. And another one we have to prove that 
Z transform of K to the N falling is nothing but just N factorial Z divided by Z minus 1 raised to N plus 1. And this is valid for mod Z greater than 1. So, we already proved one theorem. In terms of uh, the transform of k plus n minus 1 to the n falling. Okay, what is that formula? Mm. Let me... In 3.13 theorem, or we are not written given maybe number, but we know that we already proved that. We know that what is z transform of k plus n minus 1 to the n falling yk is nothing but minus 1 raised to n z raised to n dn y by dz raised to n of z for mod z strictly greater than r right where yz is nothing but y of z is nothing but z of y k. We already proved this theorem. Z, uh, z transform of k plus n minus 1 to the n falling times y k is nothing but minus 1 raised to n z raised to n uh, d uh, n the derivative of y with respect to z where capital Y of z is nothing but z of y k z transform of y k. Is it right? We already proved this. Now I want to prove. So I want to prove this. Okay, I want to prove this. So what is the difference here? Yk is equal to one. Okay, so letting yk is equal to one. Taking yk is equal to one. In above formula, we get what we get. If I substitute yk is equal to 1, what we get? Z transform of k plus n minus 1 to the n falling yk is my 1, which is equal to minus 1 raised to n, z raised to n as it is the nth derivative of y at z y at z is nothing but my z at y k. So what is z at y k? y k I am substituting at 1, right? z transform of 1. So what is z transform of 1? z transform of 1 is z upon z minus 1. z minus 1. So, what is nth derivative now? If we take second, third uh, derivative, we can come to know nth derivative can be given by minus 1 raised to n, n factorial divided by, or we can use direct formula also, but for that you have to remember that. Otherwise, you can just find for n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, and from that you can generalize. Okay? You can do that or shall I, I, I have to do? So n factorial z raised to n divided by z minus 1 raised to n plus 1. Minus 1 raised to n minus 1 raised to n. It is minus 1 raised to 2n. So since it is e1, it is just 1. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Is that yes? So now this is first formula. Now we want to prove z of k to the n falling. So for that again, we use another uh, result. We in 3.14 theorem we have already proved to prove remaining part.
we know that z transform of y k plus n is nothing but z raised to n uh, z raised to n z f y k. Z transform of y k minus summation k is equal to m two n minus one y m z raised to n minus m. This we have already proved and Uh, Z transform of y k minus n u k at n is nothing but Z raise to minus n Z transform of y k. Okay, this we know. Now what we will do? We know that this so. Uh, I can write. Therefore, we can write Z at uh, k plus n minus one to the n falling and Z to the n minus one. Z transform of k to the n falling minus summation m is equal to zero to n minus two z to the m to the n falling z to the n minus one minus m. Can I write like this? Why can I am taking as k to the n falling? So what is uh, y k plus n? What will be k plus n? Just substitute the value here. Wh what I am doing in this formula? In this formula, this formula I am using. So here z at y k. So instead of y k, k to the n falling. Y k is my k to the n falling. Okay, so y at k plus n I am writing as k plus n minus one to the n falling. So any uh, n chai wajhi kya gaye to apn n minus one. Is that okay? Instead of n n minus one. And instead of y k, I am take, or we can be right also. Uh, taking y k is equal to k to the n falling, and n is equal to n minus one in formula star in in star. We get. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. K plus n minus one to the n falling z to the n minus one z uh, z transform of k to the n falling minus now here instead of n n minus one so here it became n minus two m to the n falling z to the n minus one minus m. Is that right? So what 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 I will get here? So this implies. Z transform of I want this one no? Z to the Z transform of k to the n falling is nothing but one upon Z to the n minus one n factorial Z minus one rest to if I take this side this one 
the transform of k plus n minus 1 to the n falling plus this one is nothing but z to the n minus 1 z to the z transform of k to the n falling but this is nothing but my n factorial divided by z minus 1 to the z minus 1 raised to n plus 1 and this z raised to n minus 1 below or shall I write one more step here? The transform of k to the minus n falling is nothing but z transform of k plus n minus 1 to the n falling plus summation m is equal to 0 to n minus 2 n to the n falling z to the n minus 1 minus m. Is that okay? Initial value and final value. theorem is there. We will take it tomorrow. First, we will take one uh, example. Okay. Solve the following initial value problem. using Z transform. YK plus 1 minus 3 times YK is equal to 4 and Y0 is equal to 1. Initial value is given to be 1 and the first order difference equation YK plus 1 minus 3 times YK is equal to 4. This we can solve with the help of our previous methods also. But uh, they have told us to solve using Z transform. Then we have to use Z transform only. Okay. So taking Z transform on both sides, what I will get? Take Z transform on both sides. Hello. Ah, bolo na. Mere lecture chalu hai. Main baad mein phone karke. Ha. Taking Z transform on both sides of the given difference equation. We get what we get Z transform of YK plus 1 minus 3 times YK is nothing but Z transform of 4. Is it? So what is Z? Uh, so Z transform is linear. So Z transform of YK plus 1 minus 3 times Z transform of YK which is equal to Z at 4. What is Z transform of YK plus 1? They already proved. If n is equal to 1, 
what will be this? For n is equal to 1, z of yk plus 1 is z, z transform of yk. Is it? Minus k is equal to 0 to, now what is my n? n is 1. So, k is only 0. 0 to 0 means only one term. So, y0, z rest to n is my 1. 1 minus m. So, 0. So, that way I will get 1 only here. So, y0. Is that right? Z, tri Z times Y0. Is that right? We know that. Uh, copy paste it. Shift theorem by shift theorem. Can you see this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so now if I substitute n is equal to 1 here, what I will get? For n is equal to 1, what will be z of yk plus 1? Z transform of yk plus 1. What will be this? Z rest to 1, Z transform of yk minus summation k is equal to 0 to 0. So, y 0, z to the 1 minus 0. Right? 1 minus 0 is just 1. And what is z at y? Z transform of y k. if it is second order no? then we don't require here but for n is equal to 2. If it is second order initial value problem we will require this. What is z, z transform of y k plus 2? Z square z transform of y k minus summation k is equal to 0 to 1 y m z raised to n minus m n minus means 2 minus m right what will be this then z square z transform of y k minus what is first term y 0 z square right or z square into y0 minus what is next y1 z am i right yes Are you getting this? yes so this is rough only
So what I am getting here? Z of y k plus one. I can write. Therefore, one can be written as this. I can write this as star. Ma'am. Huh? Yen equal to one trillion under the y at zero into z ka saal. What is it? It is what? समेशन कुटन कुट पर्यत तो होते एक सो एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओनली सो वाय जीरो जेड रेस टू वन मैनस जीरो Are you getting? No, I don't know. No, I don't know. M M pay jee the. Sorry, my sir. That's why I'm confused. M M. He can't say M. Is that okay now? Huh? It's a kajar lila di. It's a kelia bala gil. Is that okay now? Yes. M is equal to zero, zero to n minus one. मंजे पक्ता एक अस्तम सर्वाय हुई थी ते ये समेशन थी. Okay. Y is अने z raised to one minus zero, so z. मिते इते बन k is equal to zero, m is equal to zero. एम मध्य ना है सो आई हैव टू मेक इट चेंज एस एम ओके सो शेल आई गो फर्दर यस मैम So, so from start we can write hello ha ha namaste sir bol kashe thi cash thi ka हो 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 चला ना मी इतच म्हणजे जवळच राहते सर आणि यायचं असलं तर मग हा विष्णुपुरी मध्येच राहते चालेल असलं तर पाच दहा मिनिटात येतो काही प्रॉब्लेम नाही ओके सर ओके एक कॉपी आहे माझ्याकडे हो 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 चालेल सर चालेल थँक्यू सर हा सॉरी फॉर डिस्टर्बन्स from star what is that is said it shall i write directly or uh, shall i write directly now from star we get z y z minus z times y 0 Minus three times y z, and what is four z transform? Uh, z transform of four, z z transform of one, z at z divided by z minus one. Is it right? Now take uh, y z common from here. So what I will get z minus three y z, which is equal to. 4z upon z minus 
plus z times y0. What is my y0? y0 is given to be 1. Right? So, just z. Is that right? So, this implies capital YZ is nothing but 4Z divided by Z minus 1, Z minus 3 plus Z divided by Z minus 3. So, if I simplify this, uh, If I simplify, I can write this as z times z plus 3 divided by z minus 1, z minus 3. Check it out. Calcium. Hmm? Z minus one nahi multiply kara. Ani Are you getting this? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So this I can write as Z times minus 2 z minus 1 plus 3 z minus 3 partial fraction using partial fraction do you know partial fraction the lcm and Comparing the coefficients, right? So using partial fraction, I can write here. How you do in uh, Laplace transform? Same thing we have to do here. Using partial fraction, we get it. A is equal to minus two, you will get, and B is equal to three. You can do this. Yes, ma'am. So here this will imply a is equal to minus two and b is equal to three. If you take LCM and all, okay, a times this, b times this, comparing the coefficients of z, z square, and constant, you will get this one. So, so this I can write as minus two times z upon z minus one plus three times z upon z minus 3. So this is my y of z. Now taking inverse z transform. What I will get, what is inverse z transform of this? It is yk. This is nothing but z of yk now z of yk is nothing but my yz. So if I take inverse z transform, I will get yk. What is uh, what is inverse z transform of this? What is z? Uh, what is z trans? This is nothing but z transform of one, right? Z upon z minus one. So here one. Is that right? plus three times z upon z minus three. What is this? This is z transform of three raised to k, right? 
is that right z transform of 3 raised to k is z upon z minus 3 so this i can write as like this now taking inverse z transform this will be minus 2 into 1 plus 3 times 3 raised to k so we get here minus 2 plus 3 times 3 raised to k plus 1 so that is my final solution is that okay is there any difficulty ma'am upon uh, z transform of 1 z upon uh, z minus 1 geto tar mm -hmm. z of uh, z transform of 3 is z upon z minus 3 pan uh, 3 raised to k hai na ma'am ithe tar tacha kas ka yel z upon z minus 3 1 raised to k hai na z of 1 mana ki aur 1 raised to k mana ऑलरेडी फाउंड आउट के एक टेबल है पुस्तक टेबल दिल्ली है पे ऑलरेडी जे जे इत नहीं फर्स्ट लेक्चर आई थिंक जे ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वन वट इज जे ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वन जेड अपॉन जेड माइनस वन वट इज जे ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ए रेस टू के इट इज जेड अपॉन जेड माइनस एन ऑलरेडी फाउंड आउट के फिर टेबल फॉर्म मध्य लक्षावे लगते जे सीम्पल सीम्पल तुम्हारा एक टेबल है देते मैं तुम्हारा तो पेज नंबर Table 3.1, page number 107. So they have given sequence and its transform. Like uh, if sequence is one, z transform is z upon z minus one. If sequence is a raised to k, z transform is z upon z minus a. You have to remember this. Okay, this table. What is z uh, transform of sine a k? If you can't remember, just use the definition directly. and find out in 1 minute okay yes ma'am it is just summation na summation you have to take and you have to write that formula so with the practice you can easily remember that since this is first time uh, you may be having difficulty If you solve some examples, then you will automatically remember what is the transform of one, what is the transform of three raised to k, and all that thing. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Take next example. Yes, ma'am. Solve the initial value problem. y k plus one minus three y k is equal to three raised to k, and y zero is given to be two. Can you do this? Take z transform on both sides. What is z transform of three raised to k? Just now we have seen it is z upon z minus three, and z y k plus one is equal to Z transform of y k plus one is just now we have written here z y z minus z y zero and it is a three a three times y z so uh, L H S is same R H S is only uh, z upon z minus three is it and just you have to do the calculations can you do this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Taking Z transform on both sides, we get Z transform of y k plus one minus three times Z transform of y k, which is equal to Z transform of 
we raise to k. What is this? Uh, z, y, z, I can write. Or z at y, k, you can write. Minus 3, capital Y, z, which is equal to z upon z minus 3. Is it right? Uh, yes. So what is this? Z y z minus two times z y zero is two minus three times y z equal to z upon z minus three. Now you take uh, this will be z minus three will be common y z minus oh, two z plus z upon z minus three. So what is y z? Y z will be Z minus 3 to Z upon Z minus 3 plus Z upon bracket square. Take LCM and so. Okay. So can you do now? So I will give answer. Mm -hmm. Uh, you should get here y k is equal to 2 times 3 raised to k plus 1 by 3 k times 3 raised to k. Try, try for this. Okay. complete remaining part okay so we can stop here